always choose the path that is righteous, even if it is the path with the most resistance. Sometimes rainwater collection systems can be expensive or difficult to install. I'm going to show the rainwater collection system that I have at my home that was pretty inexpensive and we'll jump right into that right after the channel intro. ultimately responsible for protecting yourself and your own survival. Make sure to live your life with honor and integrity. Never take joy in another person's misfortunes. Always be the wolf hunter. Don't be the sheep and never be the wolf. First I'd like to start this video off with that if you are into preparedness or prepping then you should know that if SHTF happens that having ways to replenish your water without having to travel any kind of distance is a must and having a rain water catchment system may give you enough water for drinking and cooking to wash some clothes and personal hygiene. Of course nuclear fallout or something like that could render this water useless but this is better than having nothing. The rainwater collection system that I've built at my house is very simple and was cheap. There are many more systems that are much better built and better designed than mine. And I am not a very good handyman. I have no knowledge on how to do stuff like this. This was my first attempt at doing a rainwater collection system and most of the work was done after dark and also by trial and error. One of these days I'll purchase more of these drums and do a more professional job. And if you want to search them out there are many videos here on YouTube that shows how to install these. This video is just simply to show how cheap and simple a rainwater collection system can be done. This video is for people who don't have much money and may have to scrounge most of the parts. I got these food grade 55 gallon drums for $25 each from a local recycling company. I have four drums on each side of my house on the back side of my house for a total of eight. I have these drums on the back side of my house so that they are not viewable from the front. I figure with a total of eight drums that I'll average about 400 gall gallons of water at my house at all times as long as it rains at least a couple of times a year which usually isn't a problem for the state that I live in and a good heavy rain will almost fill up these all eight drums in one night. Now for operational security reasons I'm only going to show these four drums but the other four drums are hooked up identically to these. I spray painted the drums black this helps to block the sun to prevent, to prevent algae from exploding inside of them. And also the, co the black color also doesn't stand out as much as the original bright blue color that they are. To explain how it works, the water comes down off the roof into the gutter. Now it would be nice if I had a tin roof, but I don't. And the water purification that I use should filter out any chemicals that may come off of the that may come off of the shingles but the water then goes down the spout and then down into the first barrel I got a piece of PVC pipe that's larger on one end and smaller on the other end to act as a funnel I used some scrap window screen to go over that funnel to help keep bugs and debris out of the water over time the black spray paint peels off a little especially when I dump them over every spring and in the fall to clean them out but I use more spray paint to touch up these spots every early summer when it's good and when it's a good warm day outside but the water comes down into the barrel and I know it's hard for the camera to pick up uh, with the lighting but uh, as the barrel fills up then the excess water begins overflowing 
and then filling up the next barrel. I just used an old garden hose for the water to travel through. I was originally going to clamp these down, but they hold good enough and hardly leak. And it is just easier on me to not clamp them down for when I go to dump them over twice a year to clean them. But as this barrel fills up, it just simply overflows and runs into the next one. The water may be hard to see in this barrel also due to the lighting, but hopefully you can see it. And then as this barrel fills up, it also just starts overflowing into the next one. And then again as this barrel fills up, it also just simply overflows into the last barrel. You can see the fitting that I used on each barrel uh, so that they can be connected. And again I just used an old garden hose and cut it up, cut it up into the proper lengths. And again, hopefully with the lighting, you can see how full that this barrel is of uh, rainwater. By the way, this water is probably a couple of months old. And when I filmed this video, it was during the summertime. And you can see how clear the water has remained. And in this last barrel, I have a simple overflow where I've crammed some of that screening into the end of it to help keep bugs and mosquitoes out of the barrel. So folks, this was so easy that even I was able to do it. But I like having several hundred gallons of water on hand at all times. It's a nice feeling knowing that if we were to suffer some kind of water crisis or something else, that I have this uh, amount of backup water. Of course, you always want to make sure that you have several ways to purify rainwater collected in this manner before you drink it. You know, we have a uh, Berkey uh, water system, plus we have another uh, backup ceramic filter, uh, plus we also have a, the uh, Sawyer water purifier, and then uh, we also have plenty of regular pool stock shock that can be used to make chlorine also if needed. I built the base out of 2x4s and 4x4s. I wanted the base to be solid since they would be holding so much weight and water. I do not remember how much the lumber cost me, but it wasn't too much. Then I also bought these small landscaping bricks um, for the lumber to sit on top of. The bulkhead fittings that the spigots fit into, they run about $6 or $7 each. And if you wanted to go even cheaper, you could just go without the, the spigots and use a bucket to dip the water out of the top. But for this much water to have as backup, this was a cheap system. All eight drum, drums ran me $200. The bulkhead fittings ran about $60 for all of them. The spigots ran about $40 for all of them. And the hose attachments ran about $25 for all of them. I'm guessing that everything combined, I don't think I went over $400 for the entire system. Again folks, look up how others have done these. There's some good systems out there uh, if you are any kind of a handyman, which I'm not. But I just wanted to share this so that you could see that this can be done pretty cheaply and easily. So folks, I hope you found this useful, especially if dry goods are part of your preps. Rice and beans and dried corn and the such usually require quite a bit of water to prepare them. Plus you always want to, 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 uh, to have water for hygiene and to drink if you're, if you're busting your butt with manual labor should SHTF happen. Folks, if you found the video to be informative, uh, uh, please comment on the video. And also, uh, please consider subscribing to this channel as I plan on making many more videos down the road uh, dealing with prepping and self-defense and other topics as time permits. Anyways, folks, if you made it this far, thank you very much for watching, and I pray that you have a good night.